Yes, hello, good morning, and <laughs> hello, itong baklang mas in demand tuwing on das, Gini Villagas, and welcome back to the channel. So yes, guys, today, dahil na gusto nyo mag-react tayo sa more tattoos na isinan nyo sa akin via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and yes, may twist siya kasi we're gonna react to it while drinking something for for the legal age of 18. So this sponsor for the week is called Quality. I believe they're the very first milk tea station in Cebu City which offers milk tea with a bit of a punch with with a bit of an alcohol. So they sent us something in the mail today. So we have Jack Daniels in Okinawa which they call Jackinawa. And I think the other one, let me get it. The other one is strawberry vodka milk tea. So, magrerek tayo. Hopefully, hindi tayo malasing during the duration of the video. So, let's go. Let's do this. So yes guys, thank you at nakapagbihis na nga and refresh naman tayo. No? And I just want to thank um, Quality for for the Jackinawa and for the strawberry vodka. I drank all of it and so I'm kind of tipsy. Let's just say tipsy right now. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue with this video. And before that, I also want to just thank another sponsor which is Fika. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But the food is just right. So I'm gonna flash the food that they delivered me as a they delivered to me as a uh, as a sample. Sorry, no my sakit si bakla. But yeah, the food was amazing. The milk tea was great. Everything was great. It was just perfect. I loved it. Check out their Facebook page. I'm gonna put in the description below. So yeah, you better check it out. And so yes, guys, but I mean why I haven't been on social media for, for a couple of weeks or I think just weeks naman parang okay naman pag months but yeah what happened was I, I got another tattoo added here probably you can't see it because I covered it with makeup some people might call it a tattoo disaster it's the first time na may hindi ako na feel na tattoo that's quite hindi masyadong into my aesthetics uh, the the it's not done yet but parang ayoko siyang tinan kasi it looks like kabigote so we're having a tattoo uh, removal session with uh, S. Goons or S. Goons Tattoo uh, Shop and Supply here in Cebu, maybe September. So we're looking forward to that. Watch out for the video. Yeah, so parang my self-esteem is quite low. I, I, I'm not into taking videos and photos while the tattoo is not removed. So yeah. Uh, let's just see how it goes. But anyway, for today, speaking of tattoos, we're going to be reacting to another set. Another set of tattoos sent by the fans and followers on social media. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. All right. All right. So first to our judging panel. Oh, by the way, before we start, we're not judging the, the tattoo based on how... Oh, based on just what ako ba sasabihin? Hindi siya about sa artist or what not or sa design kasi let's take into consideration na yung design baka gusto yun ng client or baka yun talaga yung look niya. And there are times sa pag nakihil yung tattoo is baka naiiba yung design or yung itsura kasi uh, hindi hindi well yung pagka take care nung my eyes so tattoo while healing so that could be a problem so we're going to review your tattoos um we're going to rate it 1 to 10 this is part 2 by the way uh this is just an honest review no hate but wag nila natin yung irate sabihin nila natin if go or no sige go so first off is from RC Chavez RC is a very good friend and here is the tattoo and yes pinili ko talaga yung photo na yan kasi nandiyan kasi nandiyan ako and I feel so great ang ganda te and I didn't have the eyeball tattoos yet there and but it's not about me so let's go to RC no so RC and I share the same artist Gerald Gabanyas of True Black Tribal hello shout out this is good you know guys you know 
you know I'm a fan of tribal patterns, geometric designs, um, intricate details, and RC's designs are something that I would want to have personally. Ooh. If nakita nyo, the placement of the tattoos or, or, or the or, um the pieces are well thought of. The lines are amazing. The shading is good. Pointillism is good. So hindi siya clashy tingnan. Hindi siya um marumeting nan uh based on the the placement. So RC, you get a hundred percent approval. This is good. This is amazing. So it is a go 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 for me. Love it. Love it. Okay. So moving on next to our. Next to our table is from Harold Cola. Now, Harold Cola, I believe, is also a very good artist. I met him a couple of times now. We have common friends. Magaling na artist. Very, very respectful. And, um, by the way, guys, ano kasi, uh, marami sana tayong vlog um, content for the past few weeks. Tapos, dahil sa coronavirus, I'm still alone at home. Ako lang talaga mag -isa. So, we're, we're in isolation. We're in quarantine. So, Mag-taste muna kayo na ako lang mag-isa dito sa bahay. So, Aww. let's go with it. And so, speaking of Harold Cola, here is his piece. And yes, go na yan dahil may cute na puppy sa likod. Puppy ba yan? Oh, ano? Yeah, it's, it's a puppy. But anyway, this is a big design. Like, there are designs na lumalaki tingnan kasi it's a collage or it's a montage or it's a collection of different designs. But this one is actually a one big piece. I think it's a skull. I think it's a skull with a background. I would say that this is good. This is something that I would have. Sayang lang kasi yung picture, hindi ko makita yung full face or yung full idea nung, nung tattoo. But I think I, I, can, I can picture it in my head na may ano siya, na may um, na may uh, na, na full skull talaga siya. And if you notice around the, the area uh, or uh, back drop ng skull or I'm not sure if these are puzzle pieces or I think these are bones as well like the spine I think I just think but overall it's good this is more of a gray wash I believe correct me if I'm wrong maybe sa lighting ni Harold Jan it's it's strong lighting so baka ganyan yung look but I would go for this this is actually a gray wash type of tattooing so it looks good on whiter skin tones and Harold is a guy that I know who is quite fair for a guy parang mas maputi siya for for a lalaki so it looks good on him would I have this yes wear my legs siguro <clears throat> Harold amazing I love it all right so ang susunod is from Pau Pau now guys before I became or before I had a big following on TikTok I, I had this crush on social media his name is Pau Pau and he's also on TikTok so follow him um Pau Pau is a, is a very amazing dancer a very good person very handsome very good looking and this is his tattoo so if you can see punong puno siya ng traditional flowers or roses I'm correct me if I'm wrong but I think it's those are roses or yeah flowers or flowers in bloom are going on um because of the photo i hindi ko malaman if there's a mix of japanese erezumi on this one but the design I, I could see flowers mixed with crosses and skulls so i should say that this is very traditional but with a touch of modern elements this is a good this is a good design but i think yung colored tattoo ni pao pao sa may bandang dito has healed way back and i think this one here yung nandito sa kanya is is newer or it, it's black i'm not sure i'm not sure if he's planning to have it colored as well to match para mag match yung yung ano niya yung isa niyang uh the other design here but overall it's good it's cool it's amazing I think this would look good if that also would be colored. Personal opinion, it would it would match everything. But I think he has plans on it. But who cares? That's Pao Pao. He's a good for he's an is a handsome person. He doesn't need that much. Hello te. Choosy kapa. Oh, okay. So the next um tattoo that we received or we got is from Shelmy Rome. Shelmy is a very good friend. Yeah, Shelmy's a girl. And here is her tattoo. This is done by Jello Talabok. And same with Pao Pao, this is very traditional. 
uh, oh, not really fully traditional, but this emerged from a traditional style. Nakikita niyo yung leaves at roses, they're very full of outlines. So this is a heavy outline tattoo. Kasi guys, there are different uh, there are different um styles, but merending different washes, merending different gravity of the lines and the, the shading. This one, nakikita nyo is punong puno siya ng solid line. So technically, ang ginamit nito is um, a liner needle. So isang, it's either one or two needle lang, but most likely it's just a one needle na solid lines talaga. Kasi pag yung shading kagaya nito, gumagamit sila ng 13 or, or more needles para para siyang flat brush to spread the ink but shell me tattoo is very solid very solid lining this is very traditional once again and i love it you can see um names there i could see bethany michael Emma. what else uh, emma or alma yeah those are names so um i think this is a very good one a very Feminine, but very astig pa rin. Would I get this? I would say no. Hindi dahil hindi ko siya gusto. No, kasi um, traditional is something that would clash to my design. Hindi siya bagay sa mga patterns ko. So, I would love to see this on somebody else. But sa akin hindi. But this is very good. If my chance na iriri do lahat ng tattoo ko traditional I would have one of these tapos talagyan ko ng lahat ng names ng excess ko yung mga pinatumba ko so shell me good 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 okay now this next one guys is right off the bat 100 over 100 this is from Dre Bentazal or Bentazal um the artist is Koi Max now sa first video na feature na po si Koi Max like he's very amazing, no question, very good with grays and blacks, gray wash, uh, black works. And this one is just so amazing. Okay, this is, this is a good piece, a very good piece. If you can see, there are elements that are hard to achieve. You can see the feathers at the uh, dito an area. Yung feathers is very achieved and that's very hard to achieve, especially if you're only using black and gray so it has to have proper contrast ng white chaka gray chaka ng black tapos yung texture na soft sya tingnan is very good contrasting to the metallic or the or the the hard looking texture na metal ng helmet or ng headgear plus the the owl feathers and there's a skull there's a skull right at the bottom i'm not sure if this is an aztec skull but looking at it it could be mayan aztec or a Kampuchen. But yeah, this is a good piece. Um, I'm not sure if there's a story bucket owl, bucket girl, tapos chaka Aztec. Or maybe there's a story behind it. Maybe because it's about rebirth, it's an Aztec goddess with an Aztec skull with an Aztec representation or a spiritual re representation of an owl. But then again, since start ng reviews sa tattoo nito, this is 100 over 100. I couldn't say more. This is good. Look at those details. Look at those details. And there are tattoos na mas nagbumukhang maganda once they heal. And I think if this isn't healed yet, it's very good. Once it heals, the 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 illusion of the gray effect would be more amazing. So, yeah. But regardless, this is good. Koi Max, you've been amazing. Man. So guys, it's what time is it now? I'm not sure. It's almost noon. And I'm very thankful to another sponsor Crocs, Steam Rice, and Shawmai. Thank you so much for sending us food. That was amazing. So I'm gonna insert a video here of, of, of what I got from them. So guys, Crocs, Steam Rice, and Shawmai, the spiciness of the Steam Rice, the... Yeah, it, it all... I'm not sure if they were authentic, but who, who cares? It tasted very amazing. So Crocs, Steam Rice, and Shawmai, check out their page. I'm gonna post their details sa uh, sa uh, description and sa uh, sa uh, yeah sa video itself. So yeah, check them out. So <gasps> let's move on to the next tattoo we're gonna be reacting to. And kanina to. And yes, moving on. May paano tayo? May pa si Mayor. May pa papakatawan siya. So this one is from Ray and Double Mercado. Waiting lang sa timing para sa left. Right half sleeves. Note niya yan sa comment niya. And girl, girl, hmm. Salap. 
I mean the tattoo. I mean the tattoo is good. It's delicious looking. But yeah, it's very good. <clears throat> what else can I say? It's good. The blacks are there. The feathers are there. Now, this is a different... There's a difference between the feathers, yung kay Koi Max kanina, and the difference between the feathers nito. Because this one is... Uh, this one tends to look like a traditional graphic feathers, like solid feathers. But you you still know that these are feathers. Yung kay Koi Max kanina is a much more realistic or still life representation of the feathers, which is very um soft in texture. So, oh, we're not comparing them. We're just seeing the difference between styles between techniques now this one is very good i love it i hope ray would get traditional or graphic designs as well as the left and right sleeves yeah you know, to match this one but this owl piece in the center it's amazing wanna kiss it the tattoo yeah. ng tattoo. so yes guys the next one is from nolan saint south this is an interesting design okay so if you can see it's very people might think it's plain people might think it's very basic it's very simple but these are amazing designs so this one uh these are greek astronomical symbols and knuckles yeah i'm not quite familiar with the uh, astronomical symbols uh greek style but i'm much familiar with with the western or the mediterranean adaptation of the zodiacs but these are sigils. These are symbols. So what's there not? What what's not there to? Uh, what's there not to love, deba? Right? So this is amazing. I love it. Um, so I think there's ten of them because we only have ten fingers. I'm not sure if twelve, but then But yes, regardless, it's good. Now, yung nasa hands niya is amazing because these are. Um, sabi niya, it's from Full Metal Alchemist. But yeah, I am a practitioner myself of a different religion, and alchemy is alchemy is actually not magic. Act uh, alchemy is categorized under science or advanced science. So I'm quite aware of of, of the principles of alchemy uh, in, in books, both fictional and they say so-called non-fiction. But yeah, the alchemy sigils, the alchemy. Uh, diagrams the the alchemy circles are amazing the combination of the solid white and black no solid black and red lines are amazing i just have a problem with the other hand itong sa right yeah because i think the circle is quite deformed but let's take into consideration that naka bend yung arms niya so just like this one pag naka bend like they deform your circles or your shape so that could be the reason why but this one is good nolan i love you you have very good taste amazing and keep being artistic keeping you i love it love it okay next one guys is a shocker this one is from joel trin javier arevalo this is done by master jerry francisco jr sipon sipon ko yan so nasa na nga ba ay tindi ng light kukuni ni lord okay yeah. So there, I've seen this design, I've seen this work, I've seen this piece, I'm not sure if this is the same exact piece that I've been seeing around circulating social media, but the execution is amazing. Do you see the, the effect of the, the paper being folded or the plastic or the foil being folded, whatever the material is, but regardless, it looks really folded, the dimension is good. As you can see guys, hindi siya black, it's gray on white. Achieving solid white is hard. Trust me. Especially if it's on a fair skin like this model. Have you do you see the skin? Yung skin ng babaing may naka highlighter or naka glow. That's good. That's very good. It's very achieve uh, it's uh, the look is very achieved. I love it. Especially the contrast on uh paper uh, the, the the folded material. The background is good. The background is okay. It's red and orange, very complimentary. I love it. Um, I'm not sure. Sa background, hindi ako sure if may gusto akong ibang color. But looking at this, it looks good as it is. So, Mr. or Boss Jerry Francisco Jr., continue the great job. Naka eyeball din yung babae. Same eyes kami, so plus points. Winner! Love it. Oh my god, I love this. Now, this one is from Nick Sebastian. Guys, right off the bat, once again, this gets 100 over 100. Or a 10 over 10 or 5 stars whatever uh scar being the highest this is traditional moth so it's a moth it's 
It's reminding me of the Hanabi skin from Mobile Legend, the Fiery Moth skin. The colors are great. And this is also one of the traditional um traditional American or Western tattoo styles. I think yun yung look ni Mr. Nick Sebastian, like traditional tattoos or patches. But the 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 placement of the moth is is very amazing. It's very witty. It's very clever because it looks like you're having another illusionary or imaginary face at the back. So it's it's weird, creepy, yet at the same time, genius. I love it. The colors are there. The blacks are there. Um, the shading, uh, the shading is good. The lining is amazing. Um, whoever the artist is did a good job on this one. The the colors are vibrant and, um. The, the the problem with traditional tattooing with other um, artists that are still uh, still learning the technique or the uh, the style is, means that yung colors hindi nagko complements each other, nagka clash. But this one is an example of a very well done piece. Na yung colors are very harmonious. So next Sebastian and to your artist, or if next Sebastian did, I don't know, hindi siguro siya yung may gawa nito. Or what if Nick Sebastian is the artist and then model niya yung, yung guy? That's possible, but this tattoo, whoever did this, amazing. <gasps> and of course, hindi naman papatalo ang inked women or inked females ng Philippines. And of course, to represent us, us, we have Miss Shobe Ang. Now, Shobe Ang is a very beautiful woman. I've seen posts and pictures of her uh, on social media. So I'm a fan. This photo is amazing. Naiinis lang ako kasi pinaparamdam niya sa akin na walang hubog yung katawan ko. Miss Shobe has na may personal ka um Miss Shobe. Pero anyway, yeah, I I love her kidding aside. Um uh, she's amazing. Now, I haven't seen the actual tattoo sa arm niya at sa legs. I'm I'm not hindi ko ma hindi ko ma Hindi siya clear. Ayoko na siyang i-zoom in kasi baka ma-insecure ma -insecure ako sa butt ni Miss Shobe, no? Kasi pinapamukha niya na ang ganda talaga ng... Miss Shobe naman, sakit naman. But yeah, I love Miss Shobe. So yeah, that back piece is amazing. That's also a big continuous piece, I believe. Uh, the blacks, the background is amazing. Yung design ng babaeng naka-smoke is lutang na... Um, no, it's... it's pop na pop siya sa background niya so the contrast is good um yung smoke effect i'm guessing it's very good from here from this angle the the smoke effect is good achieve na achieve um i think pag may closer point review tayo or may closer look tayo i think it looks better but meshabe you didn't fail you don't fail at all to represent the income of the philippines so that's amazing thumbs up thumbs up salute ma'am salute <gasps> So yes guys, yon. Yon ang ating part 2 of your tattoos sa sinend sa akin and I hope you loved it. If you have opinions or nagustuhan niyo yung reaction or if you agree, comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos to come and hopefully makakalabas sa kami ng bakay na sa may kasama na ako lumabas kasi I'm so bored. But thank you so much for being with me. Stay in love with the art, stay amazing and see you soon. Sige, ano na, closing, closing music, JV, nasa na yung closing, I love you guys, oh what, thanks to our sponsors again, love ya.